Hello, 8th graders, and welcome to your virtual English lesson. My name is Anita, and today I'll take you to a trip to New York. We'll do the sightseeing of the city together, and along the way, we'll learn some interesting facts about New York. By the end of the lesson, you will get to know the sights of New York. We'll watch a video where we'll take a virtual trip around New York. The main part of the lesson will be reading comprehension, where you will read a text about fun and interesting facts of New York. You will also do some exercises. And uh, at the end of the lesson, you will write a short text about a city of your choice to revise the vocabulary from the lesson. So there are many things to do and it's time to start the lesson. To follow the lesson successfully, you will need your notebook. You'll also need a pencil or a pen. And the last thing you need is your mobile phone, a laptop or a tablet with an internet connection. So take a minute, prepare what you need, and let's begin the lesson. In task one, you have to watch a video. The video is called New York City Vacation, and you can find it on the following link. Bitly New City. You can see the link on the screen. While watching a video, try to write down as many tourist sites as you can. Write the sites into your notebooks. Be quite careful while you watch the video and especially while you are writing down the sites because you have to remember to use capital letters every time you write down the name of a site. In task two, you will play a game. It's a word wall game of matching. You will find it on the link bit.ly new word wall. Simply type in the link that you see on the screen to access the game. Uh, you may pause the video until you enter the game. Once you enter, you will see the sites like Ellis Island, Metropolitan Museum of Art, Central Park and the others. And you will see sentences that describe the site. Match the site with the sentence that best describes it. Once you come to the end of the game, press check answers to see how many answers have you guessed. Good luck! The main part of our lesson is going to be reading and we are going to read about New York. But this time we are going to read only about fun and interesting facts about New York. I've prepared an interactive worksheet in Book Widgets. So, now it's time to take your mobiles, tablets or laptops and to type in the link that you see on the screen. The link is bit.ly Book Widgets New. Uh, if you are using mobiles or tablets and if you have a QR code scanner, then simply scan the code that you see on the screen as well and it will take you directly to a worksheet. Uh, to start the worksheet, you have to read the text that you see once you open it. Uh, read the text once or twice, as many times as you need to thoroughly go through the text and understand it. But uh, still be careful because I have limited the time that you have to do the worksheet. So I've given you only 30 minutes to read the text and to do three exercises below the text. Once you have opened your worksheet, we can go through the tasks together. In task one, you have to read every statement and you have to decide whether the statements are true or false. For example, statement one says, one in every 38 people in the USA call New York City a home. So, Carefully go through the statements and select whether they are true or false. The good thing about book widgets is that if you have missed something in your first reading, you still have the text on the left part of the screen and you can go back and go through the text every time you need an extra info. 
in task two, you are asked to fill in the blanks. Uh, all the information, all the words and expressions that you need are again in the text. So read the sentences and go back to the text to find the missing expressions. Uh, in this exercise, be really careful because uh, the correct answers will be only the answers that are spelled correctly. And what you have to be careful about are again the capital letters. So double check the second exercise uh, before submitting your answers. In task three, there are several questions to be answered. Uh, I think it will be quite easy to find the information in the text, but this time while answering, be careful about the grammar structures you use. Uh, in the task, we'll revise present simple and past simple. So, uh, in the first question, where does the Statue of Liberty come from? You have present simple in the question, which means that you are going to use it in the answer as well. On the other hand, in the second question, what food was invented in New York? You have past simple, and that means that you have to use past simple when answering the question. Uh, once you do the complete exercise, once you come to the end of the worksheet, simply press Submit Answers to get feedback on how well did you do the worksheet. I hope the lesson was interesting and I hope you learned something new. We have come to our last task that you can do as homework. What do you have to do? You have to write approximately 100 words about the city of your choice and the only condition concerning the city is that it has to be in an English-speaking country. Uh, when writing about the city, do not uh, write about uh, data easily accessible on the net, but include only fun and interesting facts about the city. Uh, while writing, also be quite careful about your spelling and about the use of grammar structures. There is also a checklist that can help you while writing. Uh, once you finish your text, you can go back to the checklist and assess how well did you do. Uh, what does the checklist say? It says, I've written not less than 100 words. I've chosen a city in an English-speaking country. I've included only interesting facts and I have paid attention to grammar and spelling. Uh, the last part, I've paid attention to grammar and spelling means that your spelling and grammar structures are mostly correct. Good luck with your homework. See you next time. Goodbye.